This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash tyt for your free trial membership. You know, I've been ignoring this story for a while now, but it's exploded to the point where it's super interesting and uh, basically shows how much of a failure Charlie Sheen is, all right? So um, CBS has just canceled Two and a Half Men, which stars Charlie Sheen. And the reason why they canceled it is because uh, Charlie Sheen was livid that they decided to postpone the rest of the season so he can go to rehab, right? He was really upset about that. He didn't want them to postpone the season. So he goes on Alex Jones's radio show. And he talks about the creator of the show, whose name is Chuck Lore. All right, and this is what he had to say about it. Um, I'm tired of being told you can't talk about that. You can't talk about that. Bullshit. There's something, something this side of deplorable that a certain uh, Haim Levine, yeah, that's Chuck's real name, mistook this rock star for his own selfish exit strategy, bro. Check it. Alex, I embarrassed him in front of his children and the world by healing at a pace. Uh, that his unevolved mind cannot pr process. Last I checked, um, Yahim, or Haim, I'm sorry, uh, I spent close to the last decade effortl effortlessly and magically converting your tin cans into pure gold. And the gratitude I get is this charlatan uh, ch chose to do his job, uh, chose not to do his job, which is to write. Clearly someone who believes he's above the law. All right, so let me break this down. Uh, first of all, uh, Sheen is mad that they have canceled the rest of the two and a half men season because uh, Chuck is saying I I I'm done with it because he's the executive producer and the head writer of the show uh, and because of stuff that Charlie Sheen has said about him before right. even this quote uh, and look on the one hand you can't let you know people's personal uh, insults get to you and and take down the whole show but on the other hand Charlie Sheen seems to be unbearable and how many insults can you take as the person who's putting together the show and look you know me I have a bias in favor of Charlie Sheen in the past it's because I have a couple of friends who are a lot like Charlie Sheen like Kanye West kind of talk I have friends who are like Charlie Sheen mm -hmm. no in this case it really is true so I have a soft spot for him but he's over the top here but by the way the, the writing on the show is excellent and the writing on all of Chuck Lorre's shows are excellent and they don't depend on Charlie Sheen now Charlie Sheen's been great on that show but can can they do it without him? I think they not just that show, but I'm saying create great shows without him. Absolutely, they can. So for him to think that it's all him and he turned it into gold, uh, it, that actually really irritated me. But I'll tell you the thing that irritated me the most is what people are pointing out, and I think they're right. Is the very thinly veiled anti-Semitism? You know, saying oh his real name is Chaim Levine. Hey, come on, there's only reason why, uh, one reason why you're saying that. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I can't have it. Can't play with it. Can't win with it. No, that's it's ugly. Yeah, he also uh, talked to TMZ about this issue. I want to read you guys uh, the quote that he gave to them. He said, "I violently hate Haim Levine. Uh, he's a stupid, stupid little man and a pussy punk, and I'd never want to be like that. I'd never like to be like." Yeah. Now every interview, he's going back to Haim Levine. Come on, it's so obvious. No, it's unacceptable. Now it, 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 he's he. He's even lost me. If he lost me, man, Charlie, you're, you're way, way on the wrong path. Yeah, and look, I, what, what I find super questionable is the fact that he's doing all these interviews talking about how awesome and amazing he is for uh, rehabilitating himself in such a short period of time. He obviously has some severe issues with drinking and drugs, and he still needs help. He's under the impression that, you know, he's in the right state of mind and he's completely stable based on these interviews he's completely unstable he needs to go back to rehab so yeah you're right Jake he's completely unbearable and look I've never really liked Charlie Sheen to begin with right but this just throws me over the edge like Charlie Sheen you're done hey, look one more context on his stupid Haim Levine comments it's like when people say Barack Hussein Obama right they're not saying that by mistake you know why they're saying it they're trying to paint him as Muslim right and that's what Charlie Sheen is doing with uh, Chuck Lorre in this case. They're like, haha, he's Jewish. And and what? What's your point? So it's it's really it's it's look. The guy's got a problem, man. It's sad, and for him to be doing this in public, it's it's terrible. And look, I guess he's got enough money, and, and I don't know if he, he can blow it all on coke for the rest of his life. 
But uh, he's getting close to ending his career, not because of comments he's making about Chuck Lorre, but because who wants to work with a guy like that? Right. I don't. No, I mean, if you were going to do a project, TV show, movie, or whatever, would you want to take on Charlie Sheen? He thinks he's the, you know, the guy who makes everything happen, and he has all the power, and he can do whatever he wants, and then he'll badmouth you in public like this to extreme degrees. I wouldn't take him on in a project because I think he'll tank the project. Get a load of Netflix. They deliver the movie to your house, no late charges, free shipping. You can watch thousands of movies or TV shows straight on your PC or on your television through a gaming console. Netflix.com slash TYT, free trial membership, you get Netflix all over you.